guys, I uh, this is the Wild Nothing collection. ColourPop is back in business. They just dropped, well, this dropped last week. Um, and you guys still wanted some swatches, old little cult style. So here we are. You're gonna get my views on this as well, since I've gotten a chance to actually test it instead of just swatching it real quick. So that that's fun. Now some of it already sold out but they weren't going to restock in some of it so at least it'll work for you to get a hold of a list to work with when it's actually released so let's look at this um i don't know if you remember wild nothing there was a satin lipstick that came out a while ago and i feel like they based this on this collection anyway the first things that we are seeing are the cream eyeshadow so this is the first product that's new from this collection and think of them as MAC paint pots. I am not surprised because Seed Beauty used to do MAC stuff so this is very similar. Um, they're creamy, they apply well as bases and you can also just kind of like fade it out into your lid if you just want to wear them by themselves. I love it. I think these are my favorite product of this collection. Yep. I'm going to say that out again. Those were my favorite. Now, these. These were the jelly um, shadows that came out in this collection. We've had jellies before. The colors were kind of standard. Like, okay, I'm used to the jellies being either duochromes or just some wild colors. And I feel like these colors have already been done and overdone and triple done. So I was like, all right, cool. More jellies. Anyway, now... The, another brand new product are um, Lux Lip Oils. This is pretty cool. I like them, but they don't give you a lot of tint. And you're going to forgive me the fact that my nails were messed up. Just trying to ignore that fact. I was rushing. I was trying to get everything done. And I was actually testing this nail polish. So just ignore me. Anyway, um... The lip oils, they feel amazing on your lips, but they're not going to give you a lot of tint. That's the only reason why they were not my favorite, because I guess I was expecting some sort of like lip tint, lip um, type of um, stain, and it was not. It was more like wearing a chapstick, but it was like a really comfortable feeling, and my, my lips felt luscious, they felt nice, anyway. Next up is the blushes. These sold out so quickly. I really didn't get it. I mean, the colors are nice, but the colors have been done before. And second of all, I felt they were powdery. So this is my arm. I moisturize my arm. That's the only thing I use. I don't use any type of primer. I was not impressed. The eyeshadow palette. Now, this eyeshadow palette is pretty. I feel it's, it's you know, some pretty standard neutral colors, late summer colors. But I think that not a lot of um, tones, like, there was not a lot of really to do with it. I wanted more greens in there. I wanted um, more pigmentation. These were maybe two, three layers on each of the stencil um, slots that I used. And it, it looks gorgeous, but I was, like, I, I was kind of unfazed. It didn't really wow me. Um, I feel it's very similar to other neutral palettes that have come out recently. And if you must, must, must have it, again, it's, it's a nice one for 12 shades. And it's definitely got some pretty colors. I don't think it's, um, as, as soon as you start swatching it, you see that some of the colors are brighter than they look on the pan. But still, I think that we could have done so much more green. Maybe because I'm a green, green lover. I love green tones to me. We could have gotten rid of at least four of these shades and put in some variations of olives in there. So there you have it. This I think this is already in, um, still in stock. Use our affiliate code Beauty Cult. Let me know what you got and um, you know. Let me know if you already got your orders. You probably got it before me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>